Hey scoundrels, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing incredibly well. Uh, today we're going to be talking about a technique used to essentially solo any mission by yourself. And I say by yourself in inverted commas because there are two main techniques and I'm going to talk about them in this video. Now if you like the content, feel free to join the scoundrel gang and hit that subscribe button. No arduous tasks today. Just hitting the subscribe button will do. Uh, leave me a comment and a like if you've liked the video because it really helps out. And if you didn't like the video, do you know what? Please at least dislike it because that helps the video as well, trust me. Uh, <laughs> or comment and tell me how much you hated it. So, there are two techniques that you can use to solo out encounters, missions, anomalies, anything with a PvE setting. Um, the first of which involves you having two devices or running uh, two instances of Nox or Bluestacks emulators and you need to have two separate accounts. One account with your main character on and one account with essentially a throwaway alt or if you're just looking to train an alt like you know normally that that would be your secondary account as well. So you have two, uh, two, two accounts and two devices essentially or two accounts and two instances of an emulator. The second technique is essentially doing it all by yourself uh, it's a little bit slower, it takes a lot longer, and it's a little bit more dangerous, but you can do most missions by using this technique. It will just take you some time, okay? So the, 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 sort of the, the, the technique that I'm going to focus on for the majority of this video is going to be the multi-boxing technique, which is, which is essentially having uh, a throwaway character on a very cheap ship, but a very cheap and fast ship, so usually like a frigate, so like the starting, um, the starting Ibis frigate works perfectly fine. Uh, and then you want to have your main account with the DPS, you know, in like a cruiser or something that's going to be able to take out ships quickly. So, um, that technique involves warping both of you in at 100 kilometers using a fleet warp. The frigate, your quicker ship, should arrive first. Uh, and then essentially all of the rats will target the first ship that enters the system. And that's usually going to be your secondary account with a frigate. What you're going to do is you're going to turn that ship on the HUD to approach a station or a star or anything that is directly away from that and you're going to start like burning that way so you don't have to afterburner but as long as you maintain 90 to 100 kilometers you should not get hit by any of the rats uh, weapons your second account will never get targeted uh, in a five minute window so there are five minutes that you're going to have to do as much damage as possible to that wave and as soon as you start seeing those rats have a yellow box around them that means they're starting to, starting to lock your main account you are going to warp out again uh, and you can either stop your frigate and then warp your main account out so that they all then retarget the second account or you warp everybody out and re restart the process of warping in at 100 kilometers. Okay, so you have two options there. The second, uh, the second um, option, which is the true solo option, involves you warping in at 100 kilometers and waiting for the quicker enemies to come to you, and you kill them off one by one, and then you sort of essentially trim down. You start to attack the outside of the rat pack until you eventually clear the whole wave. It's a little bit longer, takes more time, but it is possible. So that is the two techniques that we're going to talk about. We're going to start with an example of the multi-boxing technique. Uh, I'm going to show you how it's done. So what, you want to, what you're going to want to do first is go to fleet. You're going to create a fleet. So we're going to create a fleet here. I have just got to make sure that I leave the fleet on my uh, second account. So I've got to create a fleet. We're going to add someone in local. Uh, so I'm going to have my second account in local here. There is actually someone who is currently hostile to me at this point in time. So I'm going to add him. So I'm going to add my second account here. If I can show you to my second account, I'll have my fleet invitation. I'm going to accept it. So now we're in our fleet. Okay, we're going to try this again. So we are going to go to missions. And we're going to go to the True Divine Trial. We're going to Fleet Command, Warp Fleet in at 100 kilometers. And again, the frigate should get there before my Caracal does because it has a quicker alignment and, and velocity and, and warp speed, basically. So it gets into warp much quicker than a, a cruiser would do. Um, yeah, so basically I just need to ensure that wherever my cruiser is traveling, it's traveling at a good speed. Because uh, we got absolutely battered that time. Like one glancing shot. One glancing shot actually killed me. So we are going to uh, approach, which I think is the correct direction. And we are actually going to afterburner immediately. So we're going to afterburner immediately. 
And then we are going to go kill some things very quickly. So we're going to go uh, over towards these guys over here. Going to approach. Approach at 20 kilometers. And again, I just want to make sure I'm traveling fast. It, like one, one good laser hit on these guys will actually probably end up killing me. So I need to get into range. In fact, I want to see the health bar. I'm going to move this over because I want to see the health bar of my uh, ship on my screen, which I can actually can do. And again, he's just supposed to be dodging hits at max range. So I pop the afterburn on, on him to make it more difficult for him to get shot. I'm going to get into range. And you can see nothing is actually targeting me on my main. It's a bit of a, a bit of a chance game sometimes. I'm going to pop all of my damage mods and just start killing things as quickly as possible. And so what do you reckon it's been 30 seconds? We're going to start the timer and see how long we have. Hopefully I don't get killed on my Ibis. Again, something better than Ibis would usually be a bit better here. But the Ibis is quick, so it shouldn't be too easy to get hit. So I'm going to kill this Prophecy very quickly. I'm going to pop my damage here. So we're counting down the timer until we actually get locked on by somebody else. We haven't yet been attacked or hit. We've got 70 kilometers on the Prophecy. So we want to kill the things that are closest to my uh, to my frigate as quickly as possible. Because those are the ones that are going to very likely be able to get like a glancing blow at a very long range. You know, like a ridiculously low percentage shot, but ones that will actually do some damage. Okay, that's much better. So we align to a station on my alt. So you can see on my alt very quickly. We aligned to a station and we are just running for the hills. I'm going to go back over to my main. We have killed the Prophecy. We're now going to kill the Harbinger. My ult is bugging out a little bit. So we've got like 96 kilometers between some of them. Um, we've got a very long range here, so we can probably slow down a little bit. Probably don't need to be traveling at such a ridiculous speed when it's 100 kilometers, because it's probably just not going to happen. We need to approach this guy. Approach. Approach at 20 or so kilometers. And again, just keeping an eye on it. If anyone starts to lock me, um, I've got a very long range. I mean, I could probably just stop here at this point. But I'm at a very, very long range now um, for the majority of these ships. So they should not be able to hit me. And again, we are timing how long it takes until the rest of these ships start to attack me. Last time, it was about four minutes. Keeping an eye on the health bar. You, you, you can't see it, but I'm keeping an eye on the health bar on my alt right now to make sure that I do not get like one shot. Uh, or at least to be aware if I do get shot down, because that means I will start getting locked on my main. But again, nothing is targeting me right now. I'm going to pop my... Uh, damage boost again. We're at two minutes. Two minutes and nothing is targeted to me. As soon as I see the first yellow box, I am going to peace out. But it is all about taking out as many of these things as physically possible. Okay. Should be able to kill another battle cruiser here. Again, this is a very tough... This is quite a tough one because of battle cruisers. What's going to happen after a short period of time, as I said is the enemy ships are going to start to lock on something that is closer. And as I said, you can do this by yourself. You would just be the guy that is kiting away like my ult is. So you would, be, you would just be kiting away like I am on my on my secondary clone. But uh, because I'm on, uh, because I'm, because I'm multi-boxing, it just means that the actual damage source that I've got here is is better. Like my, my damage output is better because I'm not being focused down. So again, I'm just waiting for that first yellow box. As, as soon as I see a yellow box, on my main screen, we are going to warp out to a station as a fleet, and we're going to reset and do the same thing over again. And this is how you go about clearing uh, missions. <laughs> this is about how, this is how you go about clearing missions with two accounts. One of them just there to bait at a very long range, and one of them is there to just clean up the majority of the damage. And I'm just just about getting through this prophecy. I would be surprised. I'm going to pop the damage mod again. I would be surprised if I could actually get through this prophecy. We're at 3 minutes 30 now. So I said I wasted about 30 seconds at the start. We'll be able to review it on the video at the end. Um, I wasted about 30 seconds at the start. It was about 4 minutes or so before they started attacking me previously. So I'm waiting for the first yellow box here. So again, I'm just keeping an eye on all of the enemies around me. And I'm waiting on the first yellow box. My alt has yet to take any kind of damage, even though the screen is going absolutely mental right now. I'm getting yellow box now by the prophecy command. So I am going to start to uh, align towards a station approach. 
So we are starting to take damage now. Maybe I can kill this guy. Might be able to kill this guy before the rest of the guys lock onto me. It might be a little bit tough. We'll do our best. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. I want to kill this before we, before we warp out. Okay, so we're going to fleet command and warp fleet. We're going to warp to a station and we're going to do it again. So I killed three or four on that little run and I took no damage. Relatively easy. I'm going to do the same thing. Rinse and repeat until the mission is over. So the other way to go about doing this, and this is by yourself without using anybody else, it's much harder to do it, um, but it is something you can do, is you warp in at 100 kilometers like I did just here. Um, and essentially then you're going to go down to whatever tab you have for ships, and you are going to look at the ones that are coming at you quickly. The, 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 the um, I'm going to loot, I'm going to sort of, um, sorry, I'm going to align towards this, I think probably think this station. Align towards this station. I'm going to pop my shield hardener. And then you're essentially going to look at the ships that are coming towards you as close as possible. The longer range your ships, the better it is going to be for you. I think it might actually be the, um, I think it might actually be the other station that I'm approaching. And then as soon as a ship comes into range, I've got, s I've got seven. I have seven Nosferatus on me. Eight Nosferatus on me. As soon as a, a ship comes into range, you're going to start blasting it. Usually that is going to be one of the frigates, or it might be one of the uh, the elite ships, but essentially you're going to maintain your range, and you're going to wait for ships to come to you as close as possible. I'm going to skip forward a little bit in the video right now, we're going to speed up a little bit, um, and we're going to wait until one of these ships comes close enough for me to start killing. Okay, so some are going to come into range in just a moment. The reason that I would do this over using my alt is especially when there are elites in the wave. As you can see right here, there's an elite omen uh, sniper that's just turned up right next to me, which I'm probably going to start trying to kill, actually. Um, the reason I would do this is when I have, like, if there are elites in the wave, they are just going to absolutely one-shot my... Um, my, my alt, who's in an ibis right now. So when there are elites in the wave, I am not going to survive very long if I'm using my ibis. So right here you can see there's an omen sniper. Uh, it's going down really quickly for an elite, but it is going very it's going very fast. I'm actually going to pop my, my I'm going to pop my drone on it as well. So my drone has popped out, and you can see actually part it's actually part of my corp, which is kind of cute. Um, we want to kill this omen sniper as quickly as possible. It has going to repair its. It's going to repair its armor slightly, but I'm not taking a huge amount of damage right now, so that's perfectly okay. And the other two closest to the two executioners, which you can see here, they'll they will go. They will go down very quickly. They will go down very quickly. Um, just need to kill this elite coma. Uh, this elite omen. This is why I I will not fly. Uh, I'm not going to fly my alt in because. These elites will just kill you very quickly. So I've got 450 isk for that bounty. And I'm going to stop again. I'm going to wait for the the uh, the executioner interceptors to get there here. Look at all these lasers firing at me, by the way. There is, I mean, they're all missing, but there are loads of lasers firing at me. So this one's going to come closer, it looks like. So we're going to pop my missiles on him. So he's now in range. He should go down pretty quickly. Oh, wait, I haven't actually popped them, so I'm going to pop them now. He should go down moderately quickly. I'm going to do this until I've cleared out all the frigates that will be able to close the distance as quickly as possible, and the majority of the fast-moving elites. So I have another elite coming my way. And again, I'm out of range out of most of them. If you're a longer-range ship, this works better because you have yourself more time to react. But as you can see... It's relatively easy to separate out the majority of the pack. <laughs> Goodness gracious, look at the amount of uh, the amount of units here. So this guy's coming in. This is an elite, so I'm going to pop my damage and try and kill him as quickly as possible. But it looks like the the rest of the like the entire rest of the lineup appears to be just a um, few elites, but they're not actually closing the distance. So if those elites aren't closing the distance and they haven't tried to close the distance on me, I'm not expecting them to try and close the distance on me in general. Should be able to kill this guy pretty easily. There's an elite cruiser wreck there. I'm going to take it. Didn't get a drop from the elite uh, frigate. But we'll see what the elite cruiser wreck had to give. 
These guys are lasers, so I'm expecting lasers, which are not the most popular of weapons. Medium armor. That's actually worth a decent amount, so I'll take it. And I am going to align back towards this station. Because there are things that are now coming into range of me, like this Corpum Mola here. So that's coming into range. How close is this guy? guys relatively close so these guys are now the next closest there is a frigate that is closing the distance pretty quickly as well and again i'm just going to continue down towards uh aligned towards this destination uh i you know i'm just going to kite slowly i'm going to stop i think i'm actually going to stop and try and let them catch up to me because it looks like i'm going quicker than them in general and again i'm just trying to i'm trying to coax out these uh these these units and that's what i'll do and you can do this over and over again you can just warp in and out and try and get them to come towards you the only problem is that with this particular tactic, eventually, it's either going to take a very long time or you're going to struggle to kill the main body of the pack because they just won't move very far. So what I'm going to do after this is going to, I'm going to, once the, the, the elites that are closing the distances are gone, so those elites that, that I was just facing, that the ones that I was expecting to close the distance very quickly, they're gone. Um, so what I'm going to do after this is I'm going to go and get my ult. I'm going to warp out and bring my ult back in and we'll refer back to that situation. But this is the way that you do it by yourself. You warp out 100 and you wait for them to come to you and you just slowly kill them. So hopefully that was helpful.